Greetings, Russ at Binder Off-Road, and today we're completing the windshield installation on the Scout. Now before we get into the installation of the windshield, I wanted to show some uh, final shots of how the windshield frame turned out. Uh, in these opening shots here you can see uh, this is the back side of the windshield, and it was pretty rusty. And in this shot here you can see the after. Um, after it was cleaned up and painted, repaired. It actually wasn't really bad. A lot of that was just surface scale that I was able to clean up easily. And in this clip here, you can see that this is the front of the windshield frame. Uh, it was a little bit worse. It had a spot where it was completely rusted through, had a hole in it. Uh, so for the rust hole, I had to put in a, a repair patch panel there and just do uh, a lot of sanding, a little bit of body filler, and uh, turned out pretty good. Alright, this is my seal. Went with the self locking seal. I got this from Super Scout Specialist. There's a couple of places that specialize in these um, parts for the International Scout. And uh, so I, I've dealt with Super Scout Specialist back in the 90s when it was still a paper catalog and um, so that's I went with them prices are comparable probably what I'll typically do is if I do have to order something that's just flip-flop back and forth take turns because I do want to give business to anybody that's helping uh, keep these things going so putting the windshield frame back in the Scout was pretty straightforward quite simple I really didn't record doing that uh, just drop it back in the slot, put the bolts back in, and that was it. Um, so here we, uh, this is where we started the installation of the glass. Um, one thing that was apparent from the very beginning was that the windshield seal was oversized. And it gives you a warning on the website that the, the seal is oversized um, to allow for shrinkage. Now, I don't know if that means shrinkage over time, but uh, it definitely isn't going to be shrinkage from the time that it's made till the time you get it. It was 30 something degrees outside when we were doing this and we still had probably easily two and a half inches of extra seal. Um, interestingly, I don't see that warning about it being oversized on the seal that has the locking strip. I only see that warning on the the seal that has the built-in lock strip. So I'm curious. It was pretty difficult to get this in, um, especially, you know, I, I was fortunate uh, the guy that was doing the glass uh, didn't have a problem with me being there and helping. So I, I got to kind of get my hands in a little bit and, and see the installation. Um, we tried the typical method like what I've seen other YouTube videos where they um, put the seal in place, they, they put the glass into the back channel, um, they use the rope to try to, you know, to bring the, the locking strip forward and uh, it just wasn't working. I, I mean, it was working but the problem is, is all the excess seal um, we just constantly were fighting it and, and um, it made it extremely difficult. So what I ended up doing after some debate is we, we cut the seal. It says that it's supposed to be there, but in our case, it was so excessive that it literally was making the windshield to where you couldn't install it. I really didn't see any other option. Um, so we cut it now of course when we cut it I tried to you know hopefully the plan was is once we got it in that we would have cut just the right amount and the two ends would butt together but we did end up with a little bit of a gap um so am i sad that we had to cut the seal um yes is it the end of the world no uh, it'll be fine um we, we filled the gap with urethane um, in, on the inside, the outside. I know that it's sealed up good and it's not going to leak. In the end, I, I just didn't see 
any other way, um, unfortunately. Um, when, when the windshield was in, at, we were left with about, uh, we were left with about a quarter, almost maybe to a half inch gap, um, but I cut probably two and a half inches of seal out. So I just don't know where that would have went. I, I thought that it would just kind of compress into the corners and such, and, uh, but that, that wasn't happening. Once the seal was modified, that windshield went in pretty easily. Not many people were willing to take on this job. Based on a recommendation I saw on one of the scout forums, I reached out to Safe Light and uh, they just kind of flat out said, we can't help you. I reached out to JD at Tactical Auto Glass and uh, it just jumped right in. Tried getting a windshield from a wholesaler, couldn't do it, so he came and picked up my old windshield. I, I would recommend him. I'll put his information up here. Uh, I believe he's out of Little Elm. So if you're in the North DFW area and need some glass work done, check him out. All the typical glass type stuff, rock repair, full windshield repair. He also does, like I said, he, he wasn't afraid to take on this job. But he also uh, said he does windshield and like uh, semi trucks and things like that. So uh, if you've got one of those jobs that you're having somebody, you know, the, the typical guy's not wanting to touch, check him out. He might be willing to do it. And that wraps up the windshield project. Uh, I'm so happy this is the first time since I've owned this that it doesn't have rock chips in the windshield. And um, so I'm glad to get this done and be able to move on now. And we're just one step closer to being back on the road. So thanks for watching.